Hello, welcome to all in this SAP video tutorial. Today we are going to discuss few very important movement type used in goods movement. Okay, so let's start with our first movement type that is 101. This is the good receipt for purchase order into warehouse store. How can we use this? We can use the transaction code MI0. Okay, so here you need to choose the good receipt. Okay, here you need to choose so many options purchase order. Once you fill the purchase order here, like any purchase order here, then the good receipt against purchase order you can post. You need to fill your purchase order here for example okay and uh, once you enter all the material quantity will be displaying here okay all the material quantity will be displaying here like here and here you need to fill the bill of landing and all hope you understand okay so if you have analyzed your stock if you have analyzing your stock and you are supposed to get the documents using movement type 101 then you just confirm that the first time inter stock enter in our warehouse or in our store using movement type 101 for example, if you are trying to purchase any goods from uh, any vendor, then we need to receive that stock using movement type 101. Okay. The second one, 102, is the reversal of 101. For example, by mistake or uh, due to any reason, we have received the good receipt against purchase order but anyhow we need to cancel then we need to cancel the movement type MIGO documents of 101 then 102 by default occurred okay sometime uh, we need to use the transit movement type 103 movement good receipt for the purchase order okay good receipt for the purchase order into GR block stamp Okay, GR block stock. What is the meaning of the GR block stock? Some of the stocks we need to in block the state because we have received against the purchase order, but we are not going to release those stocks yet. The higher authority or the management was give me order to release such a stock to plants, then we release. Okay, so this is the meaning of the good receipt block stock. And the similar 104 is the reversal of 103. Okay, 103 4 is reversal of 103. Right. next next is uh, release good receipt block stock for warehouse okay because the stock which is available in the warehouse is 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 it in unrestricted mode and we can use that stock so 105 movement types is the movement type release ZR good receipt block stock for warehouse and 106 is release good receipt block stock for warehouse reversal okay so these two uh, moment type is very important you should understand and then practice on SAP okay so there is a variation option like good receipt good issue display cancellation place in storage okay
So next one is consumption for cost center from warehouse. For example, we have received some quantity of the from the warehouse. We can directly consume like uh, small quantities, small amount quantities, directly consumable quantity. So we can directly consume those quantities against cost centers. Okay. So, how can we use good issue? Others. Movement type 201. Okay. And uh, for example, just I want to execute this then here you need to fill the generalizer account and here you need to fill the cost center then this material will be consumed against the cost center which you enter okay so my main objective is to the Moment type 201 is uh, frequently used by field units, but you cannot use moment type 201 in RNM GL, repair and maintenance GL. Okay, like repair and maintenance computer, repair and maintenance office machineries, operators and plants, and all. Okay, so. You cannot use the generalizer account of the repair and maintenance in these moment time. Fine. So, okay. Again, consumption from a ship, consumption for a ship from warehouse. So, once you uh, decommission any asset once you decommission any asset and you just want to receive that asset in our inventory then we are using the movement type 241 consumption for asset from warehouse okay and the 242 is the similar consumption for asset from warehouse this is reversal okay so Generally, we are using uh, the transaction code. Once we receive the decommission, decommission asset from our inventory stores, okay, where we are using, where we are using, let's check. MB fifty, MB twenty one. Here you need to choose the movement type that is 241. See consumption for asset from warehouse. So here you need to fill the movement type like uh, 242. For example, plant is 3002. See, here you need to your enter your asset and uh, here you need to enter respective ZSOA type of the material where you want to receive this as decommission asset into material. Okay, so hope you understand. This is 242 is the uh, reversal. What is the 251 consumption for sales from warehouse for those material for which you are going to direct consume from the sales for example if material x is here and you are going to sell then you can directly click from the your warehouse so once it sales and goods issue then consumption is consumption entry is there 252 consumption for sales from warehouse reversal okay so 
this 261 261 for uh, 261 for the order from the warehouse which order this is maintenance order okay consumption for order from the warehouse and 262 is the reversal suppose we are going to consume any stock against maintenance order then movement type 261 will be used okay and Similarly, 282, 281 is consumption for uh, network from warehouse. Once we goods issue in the WBS, then 281 will be used. Okay, and 282 is a reversal of the 281. 261 is stock consume against maintenance order. Okay, so thank you for watching this SAP tutorial. We will see you in the next tutorial okay